Welcome back, everybody. Drin Six Away Plays, Plain Kenshi here. Um, <clears throat> I had gotten to, uh, let's see if I can show you on the map here. I had gone to the infested lab, there was nothing there. And I went to this ancient lab, had to fight a bunch of blood spiders and uh, some security spiders, which we managed to get through. And I managed to loot this. Uh, I did manage to get. Uh, how many? I don't even remember how many I got. Uh, I got a whole bunch of ancient science books there. Um, trying to get to my research bench to show you. Uh, I had two before. I picked up 12 ancient science books there, so I can do some research. I'm not sure exactly where to go because there's not a lot I really need to research here. Um, but I thought... Uh, I wanted to try and start picking up some of the unique characters that I've heard about. Um, where am I at? I don't want Molly's crew. I want my crew. Uh, so I'm going to let the hub just kind of hum along for a little while. I'm get filling up on bandanas again, so I might need to uh, take a pause and run someplace and get money. I did grind out a few days. Um, when I got to that ancient lab, um, a very... Uh, I guess it's a common thing, according to my son. This happens a lot. Uh, when I was in here, I actually had a couple people get pushed inside a sealed, double-walled space, and I couldn't get them out. And Dahl got trapped under a ramp, and I couldn't get him out. So I was left with uh, only really one choice to continue the game, which was to go make a save back here at the hub, and then reload that save saying reset squads and then they pulled all my people all the way back here rather than me being able to do a video of my travels back so I could show you you know more of the world kind of thing so I was kind of disappointed that that seems to be a continuing glitch in the game uh, there's not a lot I can really do about it at this point but that's what I did then I ground out a few more days. I uh, got myself up to 1.2 million cats, so I think I have enough money to do this. Um, what I was going to do is I was going to run over here uh, by this way station again. Uh, just going to run here. I'm not going to run with any mercenaries this time. I'm going to see if I can make it without the mercenaries. Uh, we're going to run up to the way station, and I'm going to send Boy Scout uh, in here to go recruit the uh, Neal, which I guess is a unique... Uh, skeleton back here in Black Desert City and bring him back to the way station. I also have some things I have to finish building in the way station. And then from there, uh, I seriously thought about Brink wasn't any place worth going. I could try to run to Black Scratch to get another, see if I could find a Masterwork uh, Eagle's Cross. But there was this place called Trader's Edge here, and I had talked about earlier possibly doing a sort of an end run type thing, where I run from the way station up to Henge, talk to that Trader's Edge person again. Uh, I do want to try and get a house either in this, in Henge, or in Heft, just to have a place that I can base out of. Uh, I have not been to Shobatai or to Stoat. So I thought maybe we would go and explore uh, over the next couple three, couple three videos, however long it takes, uh, just to go explore the United Cities, see what's out there, see if there's any unique characters I can pick up there. And then ultimately I was planning on trying to run around here because there's this unknown tower there, I don't know what that is. And there's a ruins over there, which I can't remember if, what kind of ruins it was. Uh, I wish it would, I wish the labeling would be like, you know, that's the uh, ancient workshop ruins or it's a ancient labs ruin or something like that so that I could actually tell what's going on. Uh, there is an outpost way up here in the north that I'm not really interested in going to. Uh, the outposts are just places to grab stuff. So I thought what I might try to do is I would try to sneak back down around this way, kind of circum, run around the, the coast there a bit, work my way back, 
possibly stop off at World's End, run back out, and see if I can get to this ruin. And then ultimately try to work my way back down to this ruin. So I'm going to kind of go around uh, the periphery a bit. We're going to stop off and pick up Sad Neil because he's unique. I want to try and get some of the more unique characters, see what their uh, uh, their stuff, you know, their uh, dialogues and stuff are. So uh, we're pretty good. We were able to handle uh, beak things on our own and most anything else that's come at us so far. So I'm confident that I won't get everybody killed. And I might be able to pick people up and just run. Uh, if I don't have mercenaries with me, I can run a bit faster. Uh, I run at about slowest, I think, is Rutka right now at 20 miles an hour. Uh, so, you know, Rutka and Rain the Giant are the slowest, but they have the biggest, heaviest weapons. Griffin runs at 22, Kang runs at 24, Essa runs at 27, Logan and I run at 28, and Dog runs at 30, and Boy Scout runs at 23. So we can all move fairly quickly, uh, and I thought that that's what I would try and do. So that's where we're going to head out. Uh, we'll head down to our farmstead to begin with, and just get ourselves going. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up. Oh, no, I don't want Boy Scout to go there by himself. Come back here, Boy Scout. I want all of us to go there. <laughs> uh, yeah, just don't want one person running. Although I have seen people do that where they just run one person that can run like at 28 miles an hour and they just go flying across the landscape. So, good old dog again, pathing pretty badly. All right, let's speed us up here. We don't need to go real slow here. Uh, down into the border zone. I'm not going to stop at the Ninja Towers or the Dust King Bandits Tower. I don't need to go there. I need to go up here. All right. Uh, what's going on tech-wise? I should check. Cannibals, of course, hate me. Dust Bandits hate me because I've been beating them up left and right. Blood Raiders. The Black Dog Tower that I hit. Black Dragon Ninjas. I hit, that's the Ninja Tower. It's only minus 15. I kidnapped their two leaders, but it didn't seem to matter because nobody wanted their bounties. Uh, Band of Bones, I took them out uh, last couple videos. Uh, and then, of course, the Scavengers. The Shinobi Thieves are my only allies. The Shek Kingdom's up to 10 because I keep turning the Vavani's down there. <laughs> Red Sabers finally got a little mad at me because I had to beat up some of them on my way into uh, Shark. But, uh, you know, Starving Bandits, of course, just keep raiding me. Uh, I really wish there was a way that I could, like, set up down here in my shack, set up a food store, just put food in there, and tell all the Starving Bandits free food, and then get them to not come attack people. It's like, just come visit me, I'll feed you. But there doesn't seem to be a mechanic to do that, which I think would be, uh, and, oh, I'm going to have a caravan visit here. There's a caravan somewhere? Where's a caravan? Uh, I tend to like to have somebody talk to the caravan when it shows up, so I have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and move ourselves up here. I can have ice run down there and buy something from the caravan. Go up all these switchbacks. <clears throat> I just find it interesting that uh, that dog always takes uh, so much longer to catch up, even though he's the fastest among us. Okay, so we made it here. There's nothing still here, right? I think I took everything. Oh, there's bits and pieces. Uh, I don't think any of these things were worthwhile. 
what I remember. I'm not going to bother. Uh, it's not like I'm hurting for cats. So let's head over to the way station. Just kind of do this in stages. So as long as I stay on the road, dog stays with us. But as soon as we go into... Up, 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 whoa. Slow down. What is this? What are these? Dust bandits. All right, let's go beat up some dust bandits. Uh, dog, you got to keep moving. Get away from them. And then we'll engage them here. We do pretty good against dust bandits right now with our crossbows and and whatnot. Griffin does they do we do a fair amount of damage, so they tend to go down fairly quickly. They're doing okay. Getting beat up a bit. Dog, I think, is getting hurt really bad here. Well, they're putting up a better fight than they used to. Well, these dust bandits were a little tougher than the other ones. And we gotta go get the last of the crossbowmen here. Is there another one still out here? No, more out here. This is a big band. It's a huge band of dust bandits. I wonder if this was coming to raid my uh, farmstead. We might have to rest a bit at the way station. Dust bandit go. I knocked one out and it's not showing me where they're at. Boy Scott's healing himself up. You're gonna get dog healed up and everybody else. Okay. Griffin. I don't know why you went out there. Uh, I'm not really interested in the dust bandits myself. They don't have anything worthwhile usually. So, uh, let's see how bad off we are. I took a hit. I got hit some. We know Dog got hit bad. Boy Scout's not too bad. Rutka, Kang, Griffin. Took a little bit of damage. Made the giant. Esther's usually. Esther didn't take any damage this time around. There's the new one. So we all took a little bit of damage, but I think we're okay. Um, let's just keep on going, shall we? Oh, I should get everybody together. There we go. Uh, and we'll just... Oh, that was a Dust Bandit camp there. When did that camp get here? <laughs> dead, 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 it says. Okay. Um... Yeah, well, let's just head up to the wet sta way station for now. So you get to see them getting up. So, what are these? There's a lot of them still unconscious, but I don't think I actually killed a bunch. I did beat them up. Some are dying. Some are unconscious. The dust boss didn't have a uh, thing on him, so I don't really care that much about him. <clears throat> Zoom out a bit. We should be getting close to the... Uh, 
Um, isn't it up here somewhere? Yeah, it's up here. Run inside. Come on, dog. Um, if I remember right, they don't have very much power. Robotics workshop. If I remember right, they didn't have enough power to um, to fund things. All right, how bad am I? It's Sixty-nine. Dog's the one that's really hurt. That worries me that he has so many wounds, but he was because he was trailing and they caught him. Um, I don't think, other than possibly me, I think I'm the only one that really needs to rest at all. So if I go sleep for a few minutes. If I can find my way up the stairs. Paid 200 credits for a bed. That'll let me heal up quickly. Um, I'm just going to have Boy Scout run into this robotics. I can't remember what was here. I don't think there was a lot here. All right. Uh, zoom around here. They don't... They don't have a lot of power. It doesn't show me their power to consumption level. So, uh, let's talk to the guy here. What's he got? So he doesn't even have things that are as good as as my standard legs. He's got regular skeleton legs. He has a stealth leg. One stealth leg. And his arms aren't that great either. So, uh, don't need the next one of those. So, I don't think I need anything from him right now. Okay. Just wanted to double check. And this guy was like building materials and stuff that you could pick up. They just don't have a lot of power is the problem. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get myself up a little bit further. And Boy Scout, you can come out of there. Why don't you just run in here and see what this guy has. Just check out the vendors while I'm waiting for myself to get healed up. He does have a bit of leather, but nothing really to write home about. Ugh. Okay. And I don't think the bartender has anything either. Hero he too, huh? And he doesn't have a lot to offer either. Okay. Alright, I think we're fine. Uh, I think I'll go with me at 90. As soon as I hit 90, we'll come back down here. There we go. Alright. That's going to be good enough. All right, let's get ourselves on the way to the to that way station, shall we? Did pretty good against the dust bandits, so I'm not too worried about them. Uh, there's some bad guys coming here, so maybe we should go out and meet them. Meet 
meet them on the road, see what they are. See if we can see these guys coming. Coming down the road. At least it said they were. There they are. What are these guys? What are these guys? Oh, he's just the traitors. So they're the guys heading towards my uh, farmstead, I guess. We'll just let them go by, and we'll just keep on going. All right, so I tend to run up to Tiny Settlement. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take... Ah, oh, jeez. What are we attack being attacked by? Bone dogs. There's a couple of bone dogs. Dog, you're gonna go. We're gonna first off. We're gonna stop everybody. I'm gonna move you back here. Everyone, stop what you're doing. Move dog back here because he's beat up. Should take them down fairly quickly. All right. Uh, who's there, Kang? And this is more just because this ensures that they don't survive. We don't really need any of this. Take those just because. Can always turn those into leather. And he'll go trade with dog. Dog can carry those better than him. Get everybody together. Run up here by the tiny settlement. Because that's how I get through this. He's going the long way around to get to my settlement, I guess. Okay. I think I'm just going to go down the hill here. I'm going to say, if I go up the hill, then I have to come back down it, so I might as well just go around it now. Come on, dog. You're getting better, slowly but surely. Getting better all the time, right? All right, let's just keep going. What's my time? 23 minutes. I don't know if I'm going to make it to that spot there. That's got to be a dust bandit camp, right? It's a dust bandit camp. Do I really want to mess with it? Not sure I really want to mess with it. If I don't have to mess with it, I won't. Don't need to mess with it. I'm on my I'm on a mission to get out of here. There's a dust bandit camp there, so we're just gonna go up here. Just 
Gonna try and avoid it altogether. I do want to turn my camera so that it's this way. I'm going to put it on me. Zoom out a bit. And now I'm wanting to go sort of straight across country. This is always such a pain to do. I suppose I could follow the roads. They're kind of sort of roads. I don't know if that's faster or not. All right, let's try it. What happens to us? Running along here. They're like ruins of somebody's settlement they tried to start and didn't succeed. Okay, and we want to come down here. to get through this rough terrain here, which is the hard part. Where did I get to? Okay, I'm in Shem. Shem has its share of beak things, unfortunately. But running across this part of Shem is where I usually run into things, you know? This hill. I did bring a bunch of food cubes with Dog uh, so that we can all share food. I think I'll have enough to get where I need to go. Alright, let's uh, stop the clock. Alright, this is where it gets difficult because I have to go over rough terrain. Yeah, I have to go over this rough terrain to get to here. Where am I going? This is the place where it gets really nasty because I'm right on the edge of uh, Venge. And Venge has all those stupid lasers. It's my time. 28 minutes. Uh, still targeting there. Um, let's go back and check and see if it's, oh, it's there. Okay. So we want to send ice down here. No. Want ice's team to come down here. And then I want my team. Uh, let's get you up on some high ground. And then let's go back to ice. Come on, you guys. Get a move on. You need to get down there to that guy fast. Hopefully I don't get attacked while I'm doing this. Yes, it is arrived. I know it has arrived. I'm trying to get to it. Where is it? It's there. Where's the guy to talk to? There should be someone here to talk to. 
There's the Garu. Where's the uh, caravan boss? <sighs> Where's the caravan boss? Caravan guard, caravan guard, caravan guard. Where's the caravan boss? Oh, there he is. Okay, well, let's talk to this guy. Uh, he doesn't have a lot. Uh, Poor Bill will buy... He needs some food. Should I go ahead and be extravagant and buy 18 of these? <laughs> They're at 914 each. Because Bill's running out of food. So let's get Bill uh, some of these. Get him six of those and... Uh, We'll have Plant buy another one of those, and Ice will buy one of those. Flashbox doesn't need any. Okay. Uh, and Cactus Farms are not ready to, not quite ready. All right, we'll put these guys, we've done our talking to him, so. Um, from what I understand, when the trade caravan comes through, you want to buy at least something from them. because uh, that will keep them from not liking you. If you continually ignore them, they get to not liking you. All right, let's get back over here by this team, and let's get us moving on. Yeah, there's those stupid lasers up there. It's dust storms. We have to get moving across here. And then we have to head up this way. We're not going to go to the smuggler's bar. There's no reason to go there at this point. We have to stay along the southern edge of that. And this is where things get a little dicey. So you have to watch out for acid rain if you're right on the edges. And you have to head up this way. Right to here. Ah! Uh, running a little long just to try and get me to the way station and then we'll put in a cut and then next time I will run uh, to go grab Sad Neil and then maybe run ourselves up, up to further up nobody move Garu. I'm not afraid of Garu. I have a Garu. I just have Dog talk to him, right? right? Where am I on this? Okay, I have to go up here. Where am I headed? So I remember, I have to run through a little bit of Venge to get to the way station. I think I have to run up here. Is that how I did it? I always forget how I did this. Yeah, see, there's... There's the laser beams over there. And 
and lightning over there, which is where the acid rain is. I have to kind of try and skirt through the between between them. See, I'm in Venge, which I don't want to be in, but I have to run at least part way through Venge. Oh, dog! Kang, what are you doing back there? Okay. So we've got to... We do have to run through part of Venge here, unfortunately. Come on. Get a move on. Why are you stopping? What was this? Is this something that was f attacking me? Is there something back here attacking me? Why is Kang not with us? I don't understand. Okay, we gotta keep going. We're in Vengeance. We don't want to be here. Move, move, move. Or the laser beams come and get you. There's one right there. Even if you're in Shem, they can still get you. And we try to run up here. Get away from the laser beams. get through this. I really dislike these laser beams. Get up to that desert. That's where we want to be. dog. Alright, we're going to make it to the way station, I think. Might have to fight something along the way. So we're into the Grey Desert now. Just need to keep going. There it is, the outpost. The way station, yay. We've made it to the way station. Let's get into the way station. Ta-da. Okay. We are here. We have been giving them a little extra power from our tower. I'm going to build a bed in there. It's 38 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. If you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like, see, so go and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. You'll notify to upload videos and schedule streams. Sorry, that was a little boring. Uh, but that was the run to get to here. Um, next time, we will, I will uh, build up my, my skeleton bed here that I brought all this stuff for. I'm going to store it in my tower. Um, so Dog won't be carrying so much stuff anymore. Uh, we'll keep some... Uh, we have to keep some cloth to build the uh, the tents and things, and the bed rolls and stuff. But basically, he's going to carry food and that, and maybe some extra tools. And pretty much, we're going to empty out his inventory into our uh, storage space here. Um, I got to carry like four cloth, I think it is. The iron plates go in. This stuff goes in there. Uh, I can't remember what else I needed to build that bed. But basically, we'll put a, put some of this stuff in there. I know I needed copper for it. So I'll get that bed built. We'll store some stuff in here. I'll keep like four materials to uh, build tents with. Um, and then we will have uh, Boy Scout. Next time, we'll have Boy Scout run to go grab Sad Neil and bring him back um, to the party here. And then we will... Uh, see what we can see. I don't think I can really do much for Sadniel. I might have to leave him here in the tower for 
our next set of adventures. I just don't know what his stats are. Um, might be able to bring him along and get him some clothes and things in the future. And then we're going to run up to Hench. So um, I'm going to build up my the rest of that tower, the bits and pieces I wanted to finish. And then we're going to run... Uh, Boy Scout's going to run over here to grab Sad Neil at Black Desert City and come back. There is... This Deadland Workshop had something guarding it. I don't know if I'm strong enough to take that out. Uh, with Sad Neil, I might try it and see if I can get anything out of that. Workshops tend to have uh, engineering documents. There's a ruin there that I don't know what it is. Uh... I'm really kind of waiting until I get all three of my skeletons. When I get Sad Neil, I'll have three. If I can get all the skeletons up to, you know, decent numbers like Boy Scout is, then maybe I can go try and take on some of these things in here. Uh, but that's not the plan. The plan is to get Sad Neil, bring him back to the party. We'll try and nurse him along, get his stats up, and then we're going to head out into the desert, and we're going to run up. To Henge. I want to talk at Trader's Edge. I'm trying to see if I can ally just with the Trader's Guild. I don't want to ally with the United Cities. I don't know if I can do that. And then uh, I was going to get a house, I think, in Haft. Seemed like a good place to, you know, grab a house just to have some place where I can drop down a bed and say, here you go. And then maybe run to Stoke. And Shobatai. Just see what's in these cities. See if there's any unique people that I can pick up. Okay. I think Shobatai has one. I don't know if I want to go all the way to Bark. But I might. Just depends on how fast I can get across these deserts and what I run into. Okay. And then from those, we will probably from Shobatai, we'll launch ourselves northward here to this unknown tower. Where'd it go? There's a ruins over there, and then there's an unknown tower up there. So next time we're going to go get Sad Neil out of Black Desert City, and then we will um, go from there. I'm going to go explore the United Cities, try and visit the cities, see what's in them, see if there's anything you know worthwhile, like build a house someplace, like I have in uh, lots of other places. I just have a house in some of the major uh, ports of call, so to speak, so that I have a place that I can rest securely for myself and my team. Uh, one of the tricks you can do is you can pick up your pet like dog and walk him inside the tower, and then he'd be safe from things attacking him out in the open. All right, so his dog's already almost completely healed up, so we're going to be fine here. All right, all right. Uh, like I said, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified. Upload videos and our scheduled streams. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, stay safe and bye-bye.